Hi guys, in this lecture we are going to learn about code coverage versus test coverage. First thing, what is code coverage and test coverage? So usually when writing test cases, we just make sure to ch check for the functionality within the component and uh, as you can see, we are testing two functionalities. One is incrementing total likes and another is decrementing total likes. So pretty much obvious we have done the code coverage part. But uh, just to make sure that uh, we are covering most of it, there is an option in a karma test. So it's nothing but ng test dash dash code dash coverage. So this will give you a consolidated report of the code that is covered for this particular uh, spec file or for all other spec files if you are going to specify. As you can see the coverage folder is coverage slash jasmine and uh, this is usually um, what do you say like um, git ignored so you can't see this in repo. So once you run this uh, code coverage, you, you, you should be seeing this uh, coverage folder. Um, we'll let it uh, compile for a while. So uh, meanwhile, we'll take a look into the, um, what do you say, the coverage folder, I guess. Yeah, it is generated. So once it is generated, you can simply start it using uh, any browser all you have to do is uh, double click the index html file but uh, i have a what do you say live server so it is just a simple extension so once every time you make a change to your spec file the code coverage will be updated and uh, in live server uh, we will be seeing the most updated uh, code coverage so usually this is how code coverage looks like uh, we can see that 100% uh, of the code is covered because uh, as I said, uh, we have covered the functionalities, but uh, what's with the 50% or uh, something uh, like we don't see enough coverage in the branches. So if we take a look into that, uh, it is stating that uh, something is not covered. Mm, I'm not sure if you are able to see it, I'll just zoom it. So if you see here, 50% uh, branches is only covered, 100% functions are covered, 100% statements are covered, but uh, what's with the E? So usually E stands for um, else block not covered. So the else path is not covered. Whenever there is an if block, you want to check for both the conditions so that uh, both the if path and else path is covered. Our uh, application is just covering the if path. So in order to make sure the else path is covered, we are supposed to create another spec file. So how do we make uh, for the application to cover the else path? So it, it should fail the if. So if there is no total likes, then uh, the else path is going to get covered. So it's quite simple. All you have to do is uh, you just need to make sure the total likes is zero. So once you do that, uh, the else path will be covered. Um, what we'll do is I'll just name it as should decrease likes only if the uh, total likes, um, what do you say? Total likes is not equal to zero. So this is uh, exactly the requirement that we need because uh, if the total likes is zero and if you are going to decrement it it is going to be minus one which is which is not a proper value for total likes um, for uh, this part what we can do is uh, we need to arrange within this particular spec file um, so i'll just uh, type in component dot um, total likes is equal to zero so of course this is going to cover the else block because uh, if the component total likes is zero if it's not going to get covered and uh, once you execute component dot dislike uh, we expect the total likes to be zero because it is not going to come as minus one 
also you can have something like uh, a much more specific test case because uh, you want to make sure the logic is completely covered um, there are multiple ways to write the same test case i'm just showing you all the possibilities so it's completely up to you at the end of the day uh, anything that is available for uh, expectation uh, can be negated like using not so i'm just going to give it as component dot total likes not to be minus one which exactly means to be zero so if you look into that uh, the test case is completely fine and uh, uh, it is not zero yeah that's the third test case okay so now i'm pretty much sure you are interested to look into the coverage part so it is automatically updated and 100% uh, of branch is covered 100% statement is covered so you have complete code coverage yeah that's it so this is how you cover the code coverage and uh, just not making sure the test is covered you just need to make sure the code is covered as well that's it guys see you in next lecture